<laughs> Hello there. Hello, Mom. Oh, you knew my name. Oh. No. <laughs> Not many people call me that. Mom Andrianis. Yep. So, I'm not a customer. I'm just walking in the door. <laughs> Thought I might as well open the door. What the heck? Oh, here's another one. Might as well open that one. <laughs> I'm going to leave the blinds shut because we try to keep the cool in and the heat out. Mm. Yeah, Makes that's sense. the thing. The chocolate. Always about the, the temperature. Okay. All right, I tested the doors. They open. All right, okay. they still work. So you want to see this um, this candy store thing, huh? Oh yeah. See how much has changed. Let's um, get a tour. Okay, I will do my best. I, I kind of know my way around. Not a lot has changed. We did add some new things during the p and demic. Okay. So we still have our production window, so you can peek at the candy makers. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we're no longer allowed to let people go back there. Mm -hmm. So that's. Sad, but you can see them, you know, when they're here. Yeah. They're not here yet. And sometimes they'll even come out and say, hey. Sometimes they will do that. Sometimes they're just wandering around. You can catch them in their environment. Mm -hmm. But if you do come and, you know, take a peek and wave, don't feed them. Um, feel to be sure to sign the guest book. We've got a couple from these were BP. Um, put a pin in the map. We obviously had quite a few people from the mm -hmm. Northeast. So, yeah. so you know, <laughs> Southeast, Midwest, West Coast. You got a lot of catching up to do. Mm -hmm. Same here. Russia, South America. What's going on? Yeah, Let's not go. a whole lot of people. Yeah. My, I think my favorite story was the guy who came from Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. He came to New York City for a business trip and then rented a car just to come up here, get some candy, and then go back down to New York City. So did Sarah from the UK. Oh, really? Oh, Remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, mm -hmm. Oh, she, well, business. she got an airplane up here yes. just to come hang <laughs> yes. out for a couple hours and then another yes. airplane back the same day. Not fooling around. No. <laughs> <laughs> she really meant to come here. Uh huh. So, anyways, um, I'll just kind of go over this stuff, and maybe you can tell me what's changed. Okay, <laughs> so we still have our chips and our potato chip barks. One thing that changed for the worst, um, we used to have peanut butter cow chips. The, um, our peanut butter chocolate supplier changed the formula, so it's a lot thicker now. We can't dip the chips in it. It just mm. won't dip. <laughs> it hardens up, and we've tried all different temperatures. Um, refrigerating it it's just not working mm. so we even tried some cocoa butter at least we can do it on bark though we're lucky for that <laughs> so we did introduce peanut butter cookie bark so that was that new during the pandemic that was mm -hmm. fun so it's got oreos nutter butters and chocolate chip cookies so <laughs> how neat is that <laughs> that's been super popular um you got your chocolate drops and your cookie barks and your chunk chocolate i call cut to the chase chocolate <laughs> so we haven't really rearranged things too much here because we know where everything is this way. <laughs> um, all of our clusters, uh, let's see, oh, I believe this was new during the um, pandemic, the raspberry Oreo bark. Oh, okay. Kind of like a play on the vanilla orange, but why not throw raspberries yeah. in it? Um, we did some peppermint Oreo bark because that um, back in stock app that I have where people can put in their requests, they kept asking for the peppermint bark, so we made it even though it's not Christmas. <laughs> We have not gotten caught on this, so please do not blow us in. So um, for the, the people who don't know, uh, if they see something on the website that is listed there, but it's out of stock, if they click the you know, email when available, right. then if enough people click it, then you know we yeah. should make this. Regardless of, like say, a lot of people are asking for pumpkin hard candy, and it's spring, yeah. you can make it because enough people are asking for it. Yeah, basically. Although pumpkin heart candy isn't there for them to click on, so that's... Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a bad example. Yeah, but, but I think the, like the, the festive fall flavor mm -hmm. heart candy. I'm not sure if I even have that on there or if I put that in draft mode, so I'll have to look into that, Craig. Mm -hmm. And we did um, bring back some sugar-free, which is sweetened with maltitol for those of you who have to have sugar-free. So is this just chunks or clusters? Yes, chunks and clusters. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we've got milk and dark chunks, and for clusters we have dark pecan, milk almond, and milk cashew. Keep in mind, folks, eating too much of this can have, we'll put it politely, a laxative effect. <laughs> don't eat too much. I don't want you thinking about Hercules candies in a bad way. <laughs> so keep that in mind to just try it like one or two pieces a day before you find out what your comfort level is. Okay, so we have uh, vegan candy and, and also for folks who are dairy-free, the basic difference with vegan chocolate and non-vegan is there's no milk fat in it. That's it. So there's actually a lot of dark chocolates out there that just don't have any milk in them at all, so they are vegan. Mm -hmm. But what might make them not vegan is if they're made on the same line as a milk mm -hmm. produced 
something that produces milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. But they basically from here, so you got your barks and your pretzels and your pretzel nuggets, your marshmallows. Those are Dandy's marshmallows. These are my favorite. I think we were, was this, I think we introduced a new one of the vegan chocolate pecan? covered brittle. Might be. Ch chocolate covered pecan is my favorite. But I also really love chocolate, chocolate covered peanut brittle as well. It's crunchy and it's yeah. sweet and it's got nuts. You can't really go wrong. The Kara's cookie bark. All right, that's oh, that, started that's it all. really good too. That started it all. So nutter butters and Oreos. Look at that one Peanut butter filled hearts. Oh yeah. yeah. We try to keep these in stock. So even though it's uh, not Valentine's Day, love is always in the air. As is <laughs> a giant peanut butter cup is always appropriate. Um, chuck covered nutter butters, candy bars, and hearts. So that's that. Now over here, I don't know. If we haven't shown this. Um, on our videos too much because these are things most of these things are not on the website because they don't ship well so if you want this stuff get in here <laughs> let's go road trip for fragile chocolate <laughs> okay I think our horses heinies are probably in there but the um, ho hockey player not so much because his little legs will break mm. same with the hockey stick it doesn't have legs but it'll still break <laughs> um, same thing with a ballerina she's got legs they'll break and a guitar doesn't have legs, but mm. it'll still break. <laughs> the dog, I believe, is on there. Okay. The penguin is not on there just because the hat might fall off. I mean, it's so it, cute though. It is pretty darn adorable. I, I know people are always like, uh, it's kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Love hate. Not necessarily about the love. Are you talking about yeah, the, the eyes? The eyes. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's a toss up. People either think they're really cute or really creepy. Right. So you guys can let well, us know. Well, you love them or you hate them. <laughs> Especially on the lambs. Mm -hmm. At Easter time, people find the lambs to have some pretty crazy eyes. Now, we have the Google eyes, but they don't seem as scary. Those, are, those I think, generally are considered cute. Mm -hmm. But whereas, yeah, the, the, sugar, the sugar eyes can be considered creepy. What's fun sometimes, people actually requested this at Easter time, is to do a lamb with one pupil really big and one really small mm. and point in a different direction. It's <laughs> whatever. So the pigs are shippable, the horses are shippable, the turtles are shippable. So the farm animals, if you consider a turtle to be a farm animal. I don't know if you can milk a turtle. I haven't seen turtle milk in the store. Mm, not yet. But I've seen milk chocolate turtles here. Mm -hmm. when it, anyways, the frogs, those are shippable. The ducks we have good luck with. Good luck with the duck. Um, so yeah, it, although we have for our local customers, since we did local pickup during the pandemic, um, we did put these on the website, but it's so that I think it's set up so that people having it shipped, they can't add it to their shopping cart. Mm. And that's why, because mm. it's just going to bust. Yeah. But I guess if you sent me an email, I could send you an invoice on the sly, and then you mm. could still get it if you would like broken chocolate. Yeah. Okay, so the horse pops. So, yeah, these music notes, those are super popular at Christmas time. I don't know why they just are. But breakable. Hmm. So those are not on the website. Most of these other items are. Okay. I think the cars and the kitties and the teddies are on I mean, there. The cars are cool. Yeah. Now we've kind of cut back on the smaller foil items because we just don't always have the personnel to do the hand foiling. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get so busy that the, the little tiny things, they're going to be last because mm -hmm. we've got bigger things to do. So, mm -hmm. those can, so we have cut back on these small foiled things. Okay, these are what I often call car goodies. <laughs> Basically, for locals, they're eating them in the car as soon as they <laughs> buy them. But I suppose if you get these shipped to your house, you do not have to eat them in your car. Oh, okay, that's good to know. That's yeah, it's not a requirement. It could be a house. The candy goodie. police won't come. No, hey, no. This is a house. You can't eat that in <laughs> get here. Get that candy out of here. Get, <laughs> get in your car. <laughs> Anywho, um, the, but the beauty of these items is you can try a small thing for not so much money because sometimes people want different sizes of things. Like, say you want to try the flavored chocolates. Or even the turtles, you can get a box of turtles, or you can get one giant one. Mm -hmm. You can do the Lady and the Tramp thing, and, but that would be kind of messy. Yeah. You know, you do that with the spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you should do that. Yeah, lots of stuff over here. Lots of stuff. All right, what's next? What's next? Okay, down here, just more uh, of our smaller sizes of clusters. Because, again, a lot of times people want, sometimes people will order a big bag of clusters, like, mm -hmm. say, so the other day ordered cashew clusters and said, can you make that half milk and half dark? Um, no. <laughs> it's already packaged. Yeah. But you can order a quarter pound of each milk and dark. So okay. that, that would be your workaround. Mm. So, yeah. Over here, 
we've got some more of those fun little novelties. And I think most of these items, if not all of them, are on the website. So okay. these are a little sturdier. Not dirtier, hmm. sturdier. Um, so here are all of our hard candies. This is the one that kind of got the ball rolling, the strawberry lemonade. That mm -hmm. was just, it was a year ago that we tried it. Yeah. And this blew up our website because <laughs> you folks were home, trapped in your houses, watching YouTube videos. And that one's just set things off. Um, it went viral. How many videos, how many views has it had? Uh, right now? Yeah. Uh, close to 12 million, I think. Yeah. Within yeah. about a year. <laughs> but at the time, we had... You know, some of our staff was laid off, mm -hmm. so it was just us, yeah. and we weren't bringing any more people in because we were just trying to be super safe. Yeah, that was uh, the time I wasn't allowed to post anything on any social media for six weeks. It was crazy. My mom was not allowing me to, yes. and people were like, what's going on with yeah, Craig's being then, lazy? And yeah, I'm and like, they all no, thought we were not, sick. I wish I could post more. <laughs> We could not keep up. Yeah. Well, also at the time, the software that I was using required a lot of steps to complete an order so that the customers would get their tracking information. Yeah. We have since changed the software, so there's no more of that gobbledygook. I would see her until 10, 11 o'clock at night just doing this stuff, click, click, click. It took like 15 clicks per order to make mm -hmm. sure the customers got their tracking information. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the most fun I've ever had, mm. but we have since corrected that problem, so there's no more of that nonsense. Mm. But anyway, strawberry lemonade, that's the one that got it all started. So that was one of the new things that we introduced during the pandemic. It's fun. I can say that again. We can say that word now. Yeah. I, hope, I hope this. I hope so, yeah. I know. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Otherwise, the whole video gets demonetized. Yep. That would kind of stink. But anyways, what are you going to do? Fruit and Friendly, that's a core, a core hard candy yeah. here. The tie-dyed. Oh, had, that's a really good flavor. I like that flavor a lot. Tropical Fruit Punch. Oh, yeah. I think we had that, though, before the pandemic. I don't mm, really yeah, know. No. I, I don't yeah. know. It's hard to keep track I, of I can kind of guess by the skew, because this skew is 961, or is that 8? I think it's 961. Because yeah. they were kind of in order, but then some things got discontinued, and then and this is 895, so mm. this probably came before mm -hmm. the strawberry lemonade. Mm. I know the green apple is new, because mm -hmm. we just did oh, yeah. that for the first time a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Who is this intruder? Oh, someone just ordered three of those? How wow. dare she? Two different orders. Oh, okay. Okay, so. It's popular. Blue raspberry. That's one that we'd heard about it for a long time. I didn't know what blue raspberry was. I had <laughs> no idea. Uh, but I have since learned that blue raspberry is the flavor of blue cotton candy. Hmm. And pink cotton candy is vanilla. Ah. So we'll have to do pink cotton candy flavor again soon. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I didn't know what blue raspberry was. I never had yeah. a slushie in my life. <laughs> I'm in from, I was from the country. There was no slushies in the Tesco. Country bumpkin. Uh, there was no slushy field. Can't go pick a slushy. Oh, there was geez. no slushies. Yeah, so, so many slushy fields in the cities. Right. So, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. You don't have that slushy in the country. Trees. <laughs> slushy <laughs> right? trees. Slushy patches. Anywho. Um, so blue raspberry was new. Lemonade, I think we had that. Butterscotch, I don't know. Watermelon, I think that came before strawberry lemonade. That came mm. quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. Although oh, yeah. During the pandemic, we did try making a clear one just for mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. It was cute, but we just went back to the old way. Looks, yeah. looks more watermelony. Mm -hmm. PBJ, okay, that's a staple. People, yeah. that's something that's we try to. That's very good. Yes. Um, ribbon candy with pecans and caramel. Mm -hmm. When we did that, that was a new one during the pandemic. This one I don't know. Nutella filled. I know that was new. Mm -hmm. we, we threatened to make this for quite a while. I think these are the only bags left. Mm. But we just did things that we thought went well with Nutella. So raspberry chocolate and peanut butter. Can't really go wrong with that. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's come down to we have, I think we have probably 11 varieties of hard candy and probably about the same for ribbon candy. Mm -hmm. So we just rotate them around. Mm -hmm. So we have like probably three or so of the ribbon candies at a time and then the hard candies probably six or seven but again that's where that back in stock app comes in if there's something you want just click on the email when available because i know i'm going to say the most popular ribbon candy that i can think of right now i'm going to say it's the green apple caramel yeah, that, that yeah. makes sense it's very good it's a good combo yeah, yeah. people have been yeah. asking for it for a long time yeah so that's something that's kind of a staple yes we're out of it now we just sold the last bag a couple of days ago one thing i wanted to do during the holidays last year i didn't get a chance to because we were too busy <laughs> um i wanted to do peppermint chocolate so that's red with red and white with chocolate filling and then green apple caramel in the same bag red and green do you think it would work i don't know 
I wanted to try that. So maybe this Christmas, my Christmas wishes will come true. Aim small. <laughs> okay, brittles. What was new in Brittle Land? Okay, so cashew, peanut, pecan. Those were not new. Um, but the nut lovers, that we did do that. This is something we had been uh, trying. So basically it's a mixed nut brittle. It's got peanuts, cashews, almonds, and pecans. And we still should do this with a bark someday. Mm -hmm. We were, have we been contemplating doing different flavors, like maybe throwing in like maple into yes. brittle or like maybe making a slightly spicy brittle? Maple pecan for sure. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think a spicy brittle would be fun. Um, may, I mean, maybe even something mixed nut with a little mm. cayenne pepper. People have also been asking for stuff with pistachios. I don't think we've done anything with pistachios. We have not. Yeah. Um, it might be a good thing to do like with a bark. Mm hmm pistachio and maybe I don't know but pistachio brittle I don't know if that would be good I don't know we'll just have to meditate yeah on we, we I guess we could also see what the uh, what people say in the comments right you I think, think this would go great you think with they'll pistachio. say something I think probably once we say pistachio I think people will oh okay, yeah I've never been a Finally. pistachio person so yeah. I don't really know what goes well with that whether the it should macadamia be milk or dark. is my favorite yeah. well the thing with macadamia is the reason I haven't touched on that mm -hmm. is they are uber expensive, yeah. but that's not the only reason. <laughs> you have to buy 30 pounds. Oh, yeah. And you want to make sure you can move those 30 pounds. I'm right. not going to go buy a jar of them. Yeah. Because then I'm, I'd have, I'm buying, paying retail. Well, now i got to charge a lot for them. Yeah. So that's I, that's not an offer. I mean, I guess I could try it out, like um, probably nuts.com. I could probably just get five pounds. Yeah, Something I could try out. Yeah. What the heck? Because, you know, we don't really try new stuff that often. No. So, well, <laughs> did you put it on the idea list? Uh, no, yeah, no. Okay. But well, we could add it. But speaking yes. of new stuff... The ruby was that new during the? Uh, no, I was thinking oh, this, this new we just stuff. Did yeah, last this was video. new as in yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Dark chocolate, very cherry almond bark. And this and basically got born because I have one customer, Sharon K. You know who you are. Um, she will order five pounds of cherry hard candy at a time. Hmm. We don't really do many single flavors because they're generally fruit flavors done when we make fruit friendly. And a lot of people, they want, they want to order a single flavor basically the day after we make Fruit and Friendly. It's like, yeah, it's <laughs> going to be six weeks or so, maybe two months. It's, and I don't have a system for keeping track of that, so that's generally not something we do. But Sharon is willing to wait until the cows come home <laughs> with the cherry hard candy. So, you know, it's something that we do. But um, she did that. She placed an order the day after we made Fruit oh. Friendly. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> but anywho, um, so I was like, how could we... How and then I had one other customer that wanted a pound of it. So oh, you're yeah. up to six pounds now. So I'm mm -hmm. like, you know what? That might be fun. We'll do cherry bark. Let's throw in some dried cherries and some roasted almonds so we'll get a new candy out of it. And then Sharon and the other lady, I think her name was Pat, can have their cherry hard candy. Mm -hmm. And we can use the other six pounds for making a new candy. And that's how that got born. Hmm. How about that? <laughs> um, I, I think this is all regular stuff that we had all along. Chocolate covered pecan brittle, peanut mm -hmm. brittle, cashew brittle, chocolate covered animal cracker. Animal crackers, I know those we've had. Mm -hmm. Same with a sea salt almond bark. Somebody did ask for in the comments for sea salt turtles, and those have been on my wish list since Heeman Street. Mm. So that might be something we'll do at one point. The, yeah. I mean, the only thing is, is you always got to come up with the packaging. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's an issue. So you, you kind of... Be, before you commit. So that's why sometimes the packaging starts out like this, because this is not a big commitment. Mm -hmm. I just had to come up with a label. Get some clip art? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> sea salt caramels. So we've been trying to keep up on those pretty well. So yeah, these are the, um, these are the, the turtles, but yeah, it, it would be kind of interesting to see how they do with a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Salt changes everything. Just like some sea salt on top? Or? Yeah. yeah. Salt changes everything. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes it changes people's blood pressure for the worse, but uh, <laughs> generally speaking, if that's not a problem, it just makes it taste better. Mm -hmm. um, our assorted chocolates are always huge. Um, we did add a few new flavors last year during the Big P. Mm -hmm. We added coffee, banana, pumpkin spice, and blue raspberry. Mm -hmm. The pumpkin spice, we're kind of holding that out as a seasonal flavor. I don't think generally people don't really want pumpkin all year round. Mm -hmm. But I think we'll probably do it in, we'll start it a little earlier this year so people can get it in August. Mm -hmm. We'll try to crank up the pumpkin spice and also the cranberry. Because the cranberry was like, it was not so popular all year round, but they start wanting it in the fall. So we'll bring those two back in the fall. The blue raspberry and the banana have been popular. Oh, and coffee. That was a new mm. one. So those have been popular all year round. So 
And can you explain for the people why uh, they may see a video of like a specific flavor, but we don't have, if you try to type oh, in yeah. that flavor, you can't find that yeah. flavor. Basically every box of chocolates is um, like a one pound box. It's about half creams and half nut clusters, but we have so many different ones. So it's just all, um, it's some of each. We try to you know yeah. go for an eye for color and a good mix. But we can't give you a map and say this is what's in it. And we don't really encourage people to pick every box because if we were to do that, the process would get slowed way down labor-wise. You're reading this. It's like, you know, like cooking yeah. a restaurant order. You'd be reading it and like one of these, one of these. So if you slow things down, you're using more labor, the price just went up. <laughs> so for that reason, most people get the full assortment. I mean, you can break it down to I want all creams and milk chocolate, or I want all nut clusters, half milk, half dark. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a little comment box for you to say, you know, please, no mint, which by the way, we've had so many people saying no mint in the box that we've stopped putting peppermint in the box. I believe the reason is because the peppermint makes it taste, makes everything taste minty. It's a very mm -hmm. strong flavor. Mm -hmm. So we have actually eliminated peppermint from the box of assorted chocolates. You don't have to put that in anymore. And if you do want peppermint, we have peppermint patties. So that is something we just kind of took notice of is so many people are saying no mint. I think they don't want mint. Let's take it out. So that's that. But that's why there's no list of flavors. Plus the flavor list is always changing. Mm -hmm. We have so many. So like it's right now. It's hard to keep everything in stock. Yeah. We, and you, you want to keep things fresh. So you don't really yeah. want to keep every single thing in stock all the time. Same thing with the, the hard candies and the ribbon candies. If we had everything all the time, we wouldn't sell as much. They'd kind of sit there mm -hmm. and you don't want that. Mm -hmm. You want things moving. Mm -hmm. People like it fresh. Mm -hmm. So, um, like, uh, so like we're out of the co no, we're not out of coffee. We're out of the spice, pumpkin spice, mm -hmm. in the cranberry right now, just because it's not that time of year yet. Mm -hmm. So it might be on the flavor list, but you can't have it. So you rotate them a little, some of yeah. the flavors sometimes. Yeah. Like we remember we introduced vanilla buttercream. Mm -hmm. We're going to either do one or the other because mm. I think we're the vanilla buttercream is running out. So Max made plain buttercream mm, okay. because you know people at first were all excited about it but then they're no more excited about it than they're excited about buttercream so mm. we'll just do one or the others no reason to have both so okay that's that all right okay over here if you saw my facebook video the other day <laughs> we got new mugs campfire mugs i, I just love them yeah they are really nice mm -hmm. they're speckled i never drink coffee by the campfire but you know like again <laughs> You can drink it in your house. Wow. You can drink it in your car. I don't recommend it because you should have a travel mug for that, but whatever. Uh, so these are the outgoing mug. That's all we have left right there. And you only have a couple of these left, right? This is it. The so ones if in people the white want box. them, yeah. these, these are the only ones left? Yes. All right. We still have the puzzles, which a lot of people did these during the pandemic. Hmm. I would, that's a, that's a whole lot of puzzle. Yeah. It's uh, 12 by 16 and a half. And I think you showed the one Max's dad did, you showed that on my Facebook video. Oh yeah. The one on the wall there. Mm -hmm. It comes out to be a pretty yeah. good size. Max's dad did it and glued it on a puzzle mm -hmm. board and gifted it to us. How I'm, I'm actually thinking, uh, what if we could have people comment if there's any specific thing they think would go great on a puzzle, mm -hmm. uh, I could take a photo and sure. we could make that into a puzzle. And if enough people like that comment, then we'll know that a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I would love to see Max on the Enrober or something, you know, whatever. You have a camera? I'll, I know people who have cameras. I feel like Max wouldn't want to be on that. Yeah, no, he's line. very... Uh... <laughs> he's kind of funny about that. I think we'll, we'll leave Max out of the picture. Yeah. You can have Steve on the Aurora. Mm. I don't think Steve would care. Okay, uh, snack clubs. So those we've kept, tried to keep them all during the big P. Polar bear patties, fruit and nut bars, the peanut butter and fluff cups. We do try to keep up with these. Right now, we're, we're, we're doing masterfully at that. Um, we did do uh, some cream eggs. I think we did, and this is all that's left. We did about 1,500 of them after Easter, and all that's left, and this is the most popular flavor um, at Easter time is peanut butter cream. So these are dark chocolate, but that's all that's left. So those, those flew out of here. Um, but we actually left, you can go to the Easter link, and you can request a flavor of a, a cream egg, and if we get enough requests for one particular cream egg, we probably will make it, <laughs> because nobody said we can't, and if they did, we wouldn't listen. Wow. Caramels. We've been trying to keep up with the caramels because a lot of times these are out of stock on the website as far as having them separately packaged. But so we've been trying to keep up with that. Now this is something, this is ribbon candy. Now if you read the label, fruit ribbon candy might have a little peanut butter, might not. 
green apple. Might have a little caramel, might not. So basically, these are the beginning pieces and the ending pieces of those filled ribbon candies, but we never ship these because it's thinner. Because mm. there's no filling in it yet, so it is thinner. So this is something we don't ship because it's just going to bust. There's mm. no way around it, which is why we don't ship our non-filled ribbon candy. Except for the people that really want busted hard candy, then, we, then <laughs> we'll do it. But so during the pandemic, we were just kind of giving this away to UPS and FedEx drivers. There's some people that got to pick up orders like, here, here's some bonus ribbon candy. Yeah. But we do have it for sale again. I, I think over here we've got the peanut butter cup. Might have a little chocolate. Might not. So that's what that's all about. Steve's calendar. Steve, <laughs> is, Steve is on sale. <laughs> because, you know, the year's half over. Mm -hmm. So um, there's, a, there's like 13 of those left, I think. So if you want pictures of Steve yeah. and the days of the year, you want to get that now before <laughs> they're all gone. Because I don't think we're doing another Steve calendar. Mm -mm. No? It's a one-time thing. Well, he's just got just so many faces. It's not, yeah. he, it's not like he can develop new faces just mm -hmm. for a calendar. I still wish we could do the sounds of Steve, though. Yeah. That would be so good. He's got... We'll do a soundtrack. Yeah. We'll, we'll sell CDs yeah. or records. <laughs> oh, this, oh, why not cassette tapes? Oh, we could do that too. Yeah. Eight tracks while we're at it. Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, the got chocolate nutter butters, Nutella cups. Those we we only have those once in a while, so we've got those now. And the turtle pops, of course. Mm -hmm. Don't want to be forgetting the turtle pops. Dipped marshmallow, dipped in caramel, then chocolate, then crushed pecans. Jeez, a load. How neat is that? I'd say it's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. But nobody asked me. Hmm. Okay. So before we go over to the museum, can uh -huh. we show them the merch over here? Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is very shippable stuff. Yes, this is extremely shippable. You don't need cold packs. So uh, we got, you know, our, our tie-dyes. And I try to keep two of each style out here. The t-shirts. Although there is one thing. Those fit great. I really like the They're nice and soft. These yeah. are Bella and Canvas. Or Bella and Canvas. Bella, Bella Canvas, I think. Bella. Bella Canvas. Mm -hmm. I know my product line. <laughs> got to put it back where it belongs. Okay. One thing that's different about that, we just got some tie-dye t-shirts in, mm -hmm. and they did not have any 5Xs at all. And the 4Xs, they didn't have the, um, where's the 4Xs? Okay. They didn't have the regular, this is called, so these, one, these are called neon. Mm -hmm. They didn't have those in the 4X, but they did have the rainbow. Mm. So I got the rainbow in the 4X, which I don't know. I guess it's not not a lot different. Yeah. Although the purple kind of blends in on yeah. this particular one. It just kind of depends on where the um, where the ink landed. Mm -hmm. But like here's one. The tie dye itself looks great though. Yeah. So if you just like, like tie dye, this here's is a great one this one's a little bit easier to see. But so we went with a rainbow. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I couldn't get any five axes. So what are you gonna do? But the other than that, you know, we've got our our gray hoodies. These are a nice. Those are very. Th th those are a little bit thicker than the maroon. Yes. I like how they both feel. But if you want to go for a very thick hoodie, yep. I would go with gray. That's the one. And the maroon is more. It's not quite lightweight, but it's no. lighter weight. I don't think we have. I guess the the crew neck would be a little bit lighter weight. Mm -hmm. But even that, I think that's pretty similar to the maroon hoodie. So we don't really have mm -hmm. a lightweight one. These are more medium weight. But uh, yeah, you want to take a look at the uh, museum? museum? Oh, yes, we have uh, Christmas ornaments. Yep. Do you guys sell many of these when it's not Christmas? Well, yeah, because the YouTubers, mm -hmm. they, they come on the road trip. They oh, can't yeah. come back Christmas just for an <laughs> ornament. You got your khaki hats, you got your twill hats, your maroon twill. Mm -hmm. I like the maroon hats better, but those are, uh, I mean, they're both good hats. They're yeah. pretty similar, but I just, yeah. I think I like how the maroon looks. I have to agree with you. We got winter hats again. This is for um, folks that are here on their trip, their road trip, their summer road trip. Got the key rings. Okay, so let's take a look at the museum now. You know what's changed the most about the museum? You want to guess? What? We're not storing packing peanuts there anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because they weren't vintage packing peanuts. They were just packing peanuts. Okay. Things got a little lax during the pandemic, and we were just storing stuff out here because. So is this chair? Was that supposed to? No, nope, this did not come over <laughs> on the boat with Grandpa. That's just our extra chair. <laughs> so, you know, we've got all our, our neat photos of our ancestors, of which um, Lucille Ball was not an ancestor, <laughs> although we wish she was. Mm -hmm.
like this photo. Mm-hmm. Actually, this photo I had to retouch in Photoshop because it was like tatters and like, yeah. there was like rips and mm -hmm. yeah. So he looks much nicer. I now. noticed we have the <laughs> same photo here. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Wonder why. <laughs> And this one actually, years ago, I retouched it in Photoshop. Oh yeah. Same reason. Mm -hmm. um, you probably did a better job because I just kind of fumble around and try stuff. Yeah. But you probably you probably have a method to your madness. <laughs> uh, yeah. So here's our here's our stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think people will have to like come here and look at this in person to really yeah be able to, to really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah, because yep. there's, there's a lot of little things around here. Look at that lunchbox. Brad found it at a I think at a garage sale. Oh yeah. <laughs> How neat is that? <laughs> And you guys still have uh, some like kind of bigger machines mm -hmm. back at the house. This is a hard candy cutter with no motor. <laughs> so I don't, I, for now it's just a museum piece. I don't mm -hmm. know that we'll uh, use that because that method works just as well. You don't have mm -hmm. to find a place to plug it in. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Anything else to add? Um, I think that's about it. I think that's everything I know about today. Mm -hmm. Maybe someday I'll learn new stuff and I'll tell you about it. Okay. But I can't promise anything. Right. My hard drive's pretty full. All right. Should I keep going? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you get back to work before corporate finds okay, out. Okay, I'm not going to try to run out of here. All right. <laughs> this yeah, looks, this is a little, a little that narrow. It looks a little mazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would be amazing if I didn't fall. <laughs>